some team will lose two or three games in a row. And usually at the post-game press conference after that third loss, the coach will say something to the, I can promise you this, you're gonna laugh when you see it, will say something to the effect of, tomorrow at practice, we are getting back to the basics. We just gotta get back to basics. We're going back to the basics. I think it's more about, again, getting back to the basics. I mean, it's going back to the basics, going back to the fundamentals. You have to really go back to the basics. We just gotta get back to the basics. Really, you have to get back to the basics. Locking in, getting back to the basics, man, fundamentals. And... Getting back to square one and getting back to the basics of football. So anytime you, you think, I need to get back to the basics, you're already a step behind because you never should have left them in the first place. Blocking and tackling, throwing and catching, those are the basics of football. Now keep in mind that NFL head coaches are some of the best leaders on the planet. I mean, you're talking about a vocation where there's only 30 jobs in the world. So those guys are brilliant, brilliant coaches. But it always makes me laugh that if your solution to the problem is to get back to the basics, how about you never leave the basics in the first place? Like, think about that, it's almost comical. If you work on blocking, tackling, throwing, and catching every single day, then that won't be the reason that you're not successful. Now, there'll be another reason, and it doesn't mean that you won't lose two or three games in a row if you do work on those things, but don't ever let that be the reason. It goes back to the control the controllables. So anytime you, you think, I need to get back to the basics, you're already a step behind because you never should have left them in the first place, but that's okay. Remember, we give ourselves some space and some grace and some compassion to be less than perfect, but then don't let that lull you into a sense of complacency. Just know that three, four, six, eight, ten 10 months from now, you got to keep tightening those screws and keep refining that lens to make sure that everyone is staying on course with those things. But we definitely don't need to make it any more difficult than it needs to be. And we don't ever want to make things any more complex than it needs to be. Complexity undermines execution. If you've seen me a couple of times, you've most likely heard the Kobe Bryant story the first time that I met Kobe. And uh, really the, the lesson that I learned from him in 2007 um, is the foundation of everything that I teach and I preach to this day, uh, which is just because something is basic, it doesn't mean that it's easy. If it was easy, everyone else would be doing it. And as you all know, we live in a world that tells us unconsciously it's okay to skip steps. Tells us we should always be looking for a shortcut or a hack. Tells us we should constantly be chasing what's new and what's flashy and what's shiny. But I'm here to tell you when you do those things, you are making a huge mistake. And that's because the basics work. They always have and they always will. And the very first step to improving performance in any area of your life, it doesn't matter if it's personal or professional, doesn't matter if it's individual, or organizational. The very first step is to admit that the basics work. But it's also having the humility to acknowledge that implementing the basics every single day is never ever easy. You have to work relentlessly on mastery of the fundamentals. And a good portion of that work is done during what we call the unseen hours when nobody else is watching.